Back into our Wing Shooters series, remember in that last episode we had just created our new the one character and we also played our first game in which we had an amazing time just dropping threes left and right. So let's go ahead and continue on that. We have a few skill points to spend. We got five of them and you know what I said let me go ahead and put them in the uh, shot of dribble. So this way when I'm coming up I'm coming down on these fast breaks. I want to just be able to pull up these deep threes or these little pull up mid range jumpers and knock them down with consistency. Now along with that we also had enough XP to rank up our icon ability. So you see we get plus 4 free throw, some layups, and some dunking as well. So here we go. Now we got this game against the Houston Rockets. So obviously James Harden without a doubt one of the best shooting guards. If not the best shooting guard in the NBA right now. Let's see if we can prove ourselves against these guys. If we win this game we're going to be looking pretty solid. Now at the time of this recording the Houston Rockets have been eliminated. From the NBA playoffs, pretty sad performance from them. I can't believe they didn't win without Kevin Durant on the Golden State Warriors. Crazy that they still weren't unable. They were still unable to pull a game out. That's, that's just crazy to me. But here we go. We're on NBA Live 19, so it might be a different story. But first play of the game, already dropping Iman Shumper. Look at this one more time. Sizing them up a little one, two. Said, let me spin. I don't, I've never broken anybody's ankles with that spin before. But you know what? There's a first for everything. So we come right back. And the Houston Rockets with Chris Paul being very aggressive. Gets his first two points of the game as well. So here we come right back. And I'm leaking out to the three ball. Let's go knocking down my first three pointer of the game. Now I'm rocking the same exact traits that you guys saw me rocking in that first game. It worked out beautifully. So I'm like, you know what? Let me not even bother changing any of these. Let's keep it going and see what happens with these. Now some horrible, horrible defense. You know what? I'm a shooter. I don't play defense right now, so we'll worry about that later on down the road. Nine to five. The Rockets would take a little four-point lead, but not for too long as we come right back. I got a quick seven points, man. I've literally scored all my team's points so far, but we're not done just yet. Another fast break opportunity, and you know what? The best part about having Jokic as my, uh, basically as my point center, right? He's gonna be throwing these long fast break passes and they're going to connect every time because his passing ability is off the charts now we would turn the ball over once again and james harden at the three-point line puts it up and knocks it down now the the rockets excuse me they're playing very well they're up eight points and they don't look like they're slowing down so we come right back a little pick and roll action Jokic finishing that one up he gets his first two points of the game and i'm picking up my first assist the Rockets come back one more time. Chris Paul trying to take it all the way. Not happening there. Bad idea. I'm loose. Finishing up with that little right hand finish. I have like three or four dunks in this game. Despite being a wing shooter, this dude literally does it all. That's the best part about this build, man. You can literally just do whatever you want on the court. Now, the Rockets continue demolishing us. They're up by 13. They forget about me this play, but... They were not slowing down. Remember, we're playing on Superstar, so sometimes it gets a little bit crazy out here. But that's cra it's crazy to be down by 14. Make it 17 points. Still in the second quarter. So we're going to have to make some huge comeback if we want to win this game. I'm coming right back, knocking down another three ball. So we got back-to-back -back three. My stroke is looking good, but despite all of that, the Rockets still not going away. Now, they put up a deep three ball. They would miss it. We get a fast break op right here. I'm stepping back, pulling up another three. Let's go. So that's three three-pointers in a row. Still down by 16 points. I said, let me step back in this corner. Perfect release. I am doing everything I can to keep my team in this. Pulling up another one. Yes, sir. This is crazy. It's crazy how efficient of a shooter you can be, even on superstar difficulty. And I'm going to owe it to the traits that I'm rocking right now. It seems like this combination is just making me very accurate from literally anywhere I'm shooting. So it's 50 to 38. And another deep three. This time up green release. As we cut it down to single digits. We make it a nine point game. So despite this crazy game I'm having right now. The Rockets still were up by nine points. You would think that, you know, it would be somewhat of a close game. Maybe we'd be almost taking the lead. But no, man. Rockets are playing a different game in this one. So we go to the lane, get a nice and one bucket. We cut it down to four points. So finally, we're actually 
putting our foot on the pedal and making this comeback. Now it's 52 to 50, but that deep jumper right there from Chris Paul would put it back up by four points as we come back. And the defense just sleeping on this play. I'm taking all the way and finishing up with that left hand to finish. Look at this. That is a strong take, a strong finish right there as the Rockets just completely forgot about me. That seems to be the case for the whole game, honestly. It seems like they've just forgotten about me. But they would come back and James Harden knocks down a three of his own. They would extend the lead up to six points. Now the Rockets turn the ball over in transition. We go to Jamal Murray, the tough layup. He finishes that one up. We cut it back down to four points again. But I'm telling y'all, man, the Rockets on superstar difficulty, definitely a different story. Chris Paul, deep three ball. Oh, my goodness. Man, Chris Paul and James Harden, both of them just playing out of their mind. But look at this. No defense. I'm so deep on that one. So you don't need that way back trait to knock those down, PSG family. I know some of you guys are saying equip the way back trait. You don't need it. You don't need it if you want to knock down deep threes. So still down by nine points. Five minutes to go in this third quarter. Another good look right here as we knock that one down as well. That one's only a two. So I have 44 points in this game. 44. And thankfully, we're able to get another layup to go in right there to cut it down to five points as we're trying to break into this lead a little bit. And we kick it right back out. You see the double team almost collapsing. So we're drawing a lot of defensive attention, but they forget about my shooters. Gary Harris finally knocks down his first three ball of the game. And we finally cut it down to two points with the opportunity to tie the game up. Let's go. And one bucket. Tied at 67 apiece. James Harden, though, in that corner, wide open. That was a defensive collapse by somebody as the Rockets regained the lead by three points. So we tied the game up, but the Rockets, they're like, you know what? Not for long. Back to back threes by James Harden. He has 28 points in this game. Now, they would sub me out for a very, very long time. They bring me back in the game where it's 90 to 87 with a minute 30 to go. I'm putting up the three and missing it, but Jokic is there on the rebound and the putback, so that makes it a one-point game. That's crazy that I was subbed out for so long. I, I couldn't even uh, figure out why, but it is what it is. We come back in, and the Rockets still up by one point. We get loose on this fast break opportunity. Trying to take the lead on this one. The little Euro step leading into that shot off the backboard. And we take the lead. We go up by one point. The Rockets come right back. Looking for a good possession right here. But look at this. Playing the pass in the lane. I said, give me that. I'm getting loose on this fast break. And they have to wrap me up on this one. I'm going to the line for some free throws. Now, strangely enough, I don't understand why. But you can see that James Harden is not in the game. And Chris Paul is not in the game for the Houston Rockets as well, which is very concerning. You would think that NBA Live's AI would have gone to the point where the best players are in the game in crunch time. But nah, man. They got their whole bench squad in right now. And I don't see Harden. I don't see Paul. I don't see Capella. I don't see any of those guys on the court right now, which is... So let's hope that gets solved for NBA Live 20. Now, we're still up by five points. The Rockets not even bothering to put up a shot. They eventually get up a mid-ranger. That's going to drop in. So it's a three-point game once again, and I'm getting this up to Jamal Murray. He's going to get fouled and get sent to the free throw line. Hopefully, he knocks down both of these so we can put the Houston Rockets away. Jamal Murray with only six points. Pretty slow game for him, but to be honest... I think I had like 50-something in this game. I can see why my teammates didn't score that much to begin with. I pulled a Kobe, what was it, 06, 07 Kobe, where he was just putting up numbers every game. 92 to 97, still holding on to this little five-point lead as the Rockets, they pull up a three. Thankfully, they would miss that one, and they would have to go up with a rebound, missing that one as well, and they would have to foul again. So we're walking away with this W. The lead a bit insurmountable for the Houston Rockets, despite James Harden having a great game, despite Chris Paul having a great game. We were able to make that comeback. We are able to get this W, and the wing shooter still remains as my favorite build thus far. I've tried the rim protector. I've tried the wing playmaker. You guys know I have a whole series on that. I've had a backcourt shooter, but this thus far, I'd have to say that the wing shooter has been my favorite build. So we walk away with 52 points, 5 assists, and 7 rebounds along with 3 steals. Looking pretty good with that nice stat line right there. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.